it. Why don't you do it? You are here. Play the game. All right. Just do it. So here's. So here's the major reason why I wanted to. There. Let me try that again. Here's the major reason why I wanted to stream golf again. New level. It's, it's hey. Really I mean, we play this a lot. Oh no, we played it a lot. I just wanted to stream it ever since the stage came out because it's so oh, much fair. fun. I actually it got is. a little practice into it too, so hopefully I'll do better. Do you want to try? Do you want to play this two times over again, but as dunk and hockey? Sure. I was also eyes, thinking that yeah, no I was also first. thinking that we could yeah. like pick random uh, like other random levels to play around with dunk and everything. Aww. Oh, come no, on. Yeah, of course. No, of course, Fuck. but you want to do the Guys, I can't hear Aeon. Go ahead. Sorry, do you want to do like a full explanation of the new map where it's like we just do all three modes on this map cuz the map does change when you alter the modes somewhat. Mhm. Mm mm. So it's so it is technically a oh. new experience. Ah, I'm knitting. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Put your knitting down. No, so I'm just can't. imagine we're like actually at a, Where I'm just the imagine we're actually at a golf course and like Mip <laughs> is. Can't. Dude, the buttons are not. There, there we go. I literally imagine there like Mip is literally bark. knitting at a golf course. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like. Oh, wait, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Anyway, okay. no, it's. It, Mip was briefly kind of like, um,. What's his name? Clark in South oh. Park in that one uh, this is Warcraft normal episode. Hit no! hey, with a crossbow, Clark! Clark! And on his end, he's just looking at a magazine with his headphones off. Let's screw this up. There's no way to redeem it. Oh, it wasn't Clark. It was like Craig. Clark. Clark. Yeah, it was Craig. And that, uh, yeah, the World of Warcraft. No, it was Clark. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Because I watched War, Legend of Greg. It was Grog. Duh. I thought we were talking oh, no. about that. Oh no! Episode of Are you? Mm, uh, I got. Yeah. World the, Dickles, the World of Warcraft episode. He he allegedly joined the party, but he wasn't listening. He his headphones were off. Yeah, he took <laughs> off his headphones and he was looking at a like a girly mag or some shit. Yeah, it's like Clark, Girlin Clark, God damn it, we lost Clark. <laughs> and Myth is knitted oh, again. Is a chief. See, this is why I can't look away. It's the wrong color. <laughs> Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> that's an impressive jump. <laughs> right. Oh, is that what you're listening to? Feel so much better today. Yes. I'm so glad you introduced me to the Midnight. Yeah, I love the Midnight. Oh, same. Midnight. Midnight, good oh, band. Clyde, not Clark. It's Clyde. The sax is just Greg. what makes it. It's, it sounds, Cartman sounds like he's saying Clark. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, shit. It. I underestimated it. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. The wrong stuff. Oh, shit. What's in the bucket? What's in the uh, bucket? No, 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 no. Uh, in the box. What's in the, in the box? box? Where are we going? I still love that movie, but Damn that it. scene is still forever cheesy. Uh, hmm. What scene? What movie? Um, the the tonight. infamous "What's in the yeah. Box" scene from Seven. Fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, I hate that movie. Oh, uh, you don't like it? Such a, I I can kind of guess why, because it ends on such a harsh oh, note. I'm in the nowhere. It's okay. You know what? Okay. Um, hate is a strong word. Um. It does its job too well. How about that? Yeah. It, oh yeah, I can definitely see that. It's a very, very bleak movie. What movie? It, uh, seven. 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 Yeah. Oh. It's oh. um. No, I don't. Um, I'm not gonna go into spoiler so territory, close. but um. It's based off the Zodiac Killer. Yeah. Uh. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Um. <sighs> But it has to do with the seven deadly sins. They mm -hmm. say they Ooh, say I'm that intrigued. a oh, that um, they say that a good yeah, horror story or horror movie or that horror game really it ends on a sad note. A, a good horror story ends on a sad note. I'm like, oh, well, this one definitely does that. Oh, like Stephen King. Horror story yeah. ends with Ooh, hole in one. How yes, did you yes. get a hole in one on this hole? I got a hole in one. I had double jump. Oh, you son of a bitch. That'll do it. 
It does a job well, and I think it's still a pretty classic movie, but I, I can see, why see it. I, I recommend it. It's very oh, good. You're gonna be pissed at the end. I don't know. Um, Death move! I'm sorry! Uh, God damn it! I do want to yes. see more of uh, Ryanowski's films, and I want to see The Fountain again. I love The Fountain. The Fountain? That's the one where it's about a guy who's obsessed with death, told in like three different timelines. I also want to see Black Swan completely, because that one, I've seen like bits oh. and pieces, but it's so, it looks amazing from what I saw. Black Swan? Based off of, uh, like, um, who is that famous? Aunt Satoshi Kon, I believe? Satoshi Kon. Satoshi Kon. Yeah. Um... I think some people do compare it a little bit to Millennium Actress due to its similar no, themes. Got in. But um, I do recommend Black Swan. Black Swan is, in my opinion, Afronowski's better film. Man. Yeah, it is, by a long shot. Yeah, I think it's far more better than Requiem for a Dream, which is oh, saying yeah. a lot. Yeah, okay, so Requiem for, for a Dream is an acquired taste, especially at the end, because it, like, okay, if you think that the ending to um, 7 was brutal... Yeah. Yeah, like, don't spoil no, it, no, yeah. No, no, no. That no. one just, like, I, I saw it once, I never wanted to see it again. Like, it's a yeah, good that's... movie, but no, I'm never watching it again. Yeah, that's pretty much my opinion Man. on it, too. It's... I can't play when you're saying my name. You're not playing. You're not playing. Yeah, because people issue. keep saying my name. <laughs> Who is the bird here? Hey, uh, we need to finish watching the thing. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, we do. I do. I really want to finish. I want to watch that with you. I want to watch that. Um, now, these days, I'm not really into um, body horror. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of body horror. I'll admit. Um, That's why I don't watch Chernobyl. <laughs> I I Chernobyl. I do Chernobyl. like me a good uh, poltergeist or ghost. Oh, or... I want to watch all three poltergeist films for Halloween this year. Oh, that'd be good. Season. I mean, I like the classic Polder guys. I stopped yep. watching, but that that's as far as my love. Birdie. You Don't never miss. saw the second and third one? I saw the sec. I saw parts of the second one. Didn't like it. You, what do you think of the villain? Stupid. You didn't oh. like the creature? No. I thought it was creepy as fuck. <laughs> also, I saw... I finally sat down, like, okay, grand, this was a few years ago, but I did finally sit down and, and watch the movie that traumatized my mom as a teenager for three months. Oh, The Exorcist? Yeah. Oh, I love The oh. Exorcist. And I'm like, okay, what's so disturbing about this? Okay, I guess this was disturbing for my mom's time and generation, mm, yeah. but the only thing disturbing that got me a little bit was... <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why it disturbs people, at least, at least for... Um, People well, in the '70s was, was because it of... was a product of its time. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it was it was very graphic for its time. For one thing, it, it it dealt with a lot of religious tones, which is like unheard of at the time. Well, not almost unheard of, but and there was uh, the images yeah. and like Shit. scenes in that film just they weren't used to seeing that kind of stuff on in the '70s. For, yeah. At least it was for a mainstream horror film. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think another reason why is some people genuinely, like, if you remove the horror, step, horror aspect, some people would be panicking at the idea of just your kid going completely insane and you don't know why. Do we not establish the rule? What? Oh, randomizer. Okay, so who used it? I thought we were doing party rules because of the stream. Did somebody, uh... Okay, yeah. if the randomizer's uh, on, at least save it until after the final hole. Please. We, yeah. we don't want to deal with that again. Don't use it. Yeah, don't <laughs> use or it. forfeit a stroke. Okay, I thought we we played it in stream before. Uh, yes. I thought we played it 50 times in a row with people constantly saying, Stop using randomizer. Fuck the randomizer. It randomized me. You're fine, Riley, really, but... don't like it. <laughs> You're fine, Riley, but yeah. You, you know, people are not a big fan of it. Anyways. Yeah. Um, what um, other... Like, I love the Conjuring movies. Those are good. Oh, Conjuring's great. Yeah, I Except, like those uh, kinds of films. That, that low... Uh, what is it? That, it, it was that... There was that movie with, like, the... Um, it was, like, low, lowery... Oh, that's 
Dev, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, La Mexican Luna? ghost woman. La Luna is something? La Llorona? La Llorona. Curse of La Llorona. Curse of La Llorona. Yeah, okay, so that movie actually takes place in the Conjuring cinematic universe because it has a cinematic universe with other movies in it. Yeah, that it is does. one of them. So that means that in the same movie that we saw, you know, the cool three Conjuring movies, is also the universe in which the spirit yeet unironically, canonically exists. <sighs> I... The spirit yeet, if you remember. Yeah, I remember the spirit <laughs> when I saw the adaptation, the, the news that they were gonna do a La Llorona movie, and I saw the reception about it, Shit. I was so disappointed. How can you screw up an idea like that for a horror movie? Like, it's a uh, finds a way. You know what? You know what country would actually make a really amazing horror movie just from their like local folklore, like Malaysia. What? Oh. Like, Malaysia has, like, terrifying lore. Mm. Like, wispy vampire ghosts that, like, eat your eyes and stuff. It's, like, really cool stuff like that. I'm honestly e. wondering if I can handle their stuff. Or, um, Vietnam actually has some really, really creepy folklore, too. Like, uh, a, like Wandering Souls is a really creepy concept. Mm. Oh, yeah. The idea that if you die and you're not buried, your spirit will wander the land well, for all eternity. It's more like the it's more like the description of what they're of what they look like. That's kind of eerie. Uh, there's also one in Malaysia where if you don't cut the uh, it's like a funeral death veil, then you'll see this like really, really tall, uh, like sorry. white figure bound like bound okay. up in it with like a really eerie, like distinct face. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just definitely lost my lead. Uh, yeah. I've been... Now, <laughs> what the fuck? And the idea is, is that someone is dead in the area or buried in the area and their veil was not cut, so their burial was not technically proper. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah, God. so... Yeah. yeah. So the idea is, what they want you to do is effectively dig up the body... And, uh... Oh, no! Death Force, you just saved uh, me. Uh, cut the veil. <laughs> so, the, that's the only way to, like, get rid of it. I like that. Mm, okay. Is there... you have to find the body and cut the veil. Can enable jumping. Oh, that's Spooky. messed up. Uh, that, that kind of reminds... Mm, yeah, and I think I have a hard time watching something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be able to watch it because it's ghost related. It's not body horror or anything. Also, mm. dice. I that's what I meant to do, but I completely forgot that the items were still on. I'm like, uh oh. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> ah shit. Um. And... Oh crud. I know there's one classic movie I need to see. What? Um, Which is? Carrie. Oh, that is a good film. I yeah. warmed up to it in recent years. I used to be very damn it critical of it, mainly because I felt that Sissy Spacek was just too old for the role. But I think she still does a pretty good job being Carrie in general. It's a good film, but you can definitely tell it's a 70s movie. Oh, no, I figured. <laughs> I mean, I watched, uh, me and Lars watched, uh... Oh, what, what was it called? Stacy? It was about the car. The oh, Christine. Christine. Christine's a good film. Um, one movie I do recommend is The Shining, the 1980s one. I've watched it. I'm... It... it. I think Slow you're not... Slow burn. A... Slow burn. I think Slow you're not burn. a fan of the whole... Of the whole, it's ambiguous kind of direction they went with it. Yeah. That that and apparently what freaked people out was like the the uh i guess the the freaky popular everything is parallel to each other and looks exactly the same thing that apparently that trips people up i'm like okay for some people that's freaky for me it's like ah this is so satisfying it's my ocd <laughs> I, I can understand that um i was only gonna recommend it because technically there is a sequel to the shining they did it a, um, a while back called dr sleep because what's Doctor Sleep is really good. Wolfhead and I saw it together, and I thought playing with my sister, 
And it is a goddamn good movie. And considering it's a sequel to a Stanley Kubrick movie, who everybody holds in high regard, pretty damn good, and, you know, attempt to be a sequel to a classic movie. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, close to that edge. Nothing can that Why did I bounce goes. that edge, though? Mm. Nothing can stop Matt, come me on, now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 Bliss, oh, I see you from inside the hole. Oh, oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've yeah. come to talk with I, you again. Sorry, I just, uh, what is it? There's that one image of, like, that myth post from, I think it was like a, yes. was it a piece from within? It was myth making like a mischievous face. I just imagine that as she's like sailing into the hole and Bliss is like crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. Just imagine that evil little smirk. I almost got a hole in one. Gonna move. God damn it! And that was only because my mom came in the room. I'm still trying to think of other horror movies I want to say that I know I haven't seen yet. Um, I usually always recommend the Japanese ver the Japanese uh, Junon movies. Juon, yeah, the Juon, the Juan Brud films. Brud. I yeah. like I know. I guess you could say I'm basic whenever it comes to like horror flicks. Like I would just go for like the classic 80s slasher films or Evil Dead. Yeah. I mean, understandable. I've seen I actually, those, so. I'm sorry, Was that Bliss? Bliss? No, Aeon. Go ahead, Aeon. Um, I actually unironically enjoy the, uh, black, like, black and white, like, classic monster movies, believe it or not. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, like, it's understandable. They're, they're yeah. cheesy, but they're fun. No, like, I especially love, I will say, I'll say I like Dracula the best. Yeah. It's With the Bela watch. Lugosi? Bela Lugosi. It's a good watch. Yeah. I gotta watch the Bella Lugosi one. Oh, oh. You wanna know what's really oh. cool about that actor? What? During that film, he did not speak a lip of English. He just memorized the lines that good. Oh shit, that is uh, a damn. Yeah, he did not understand what he was saying. He did not speak English at all. He just trained himself to pronounce the words for Batum. He is such a wow. he is such a good he was such a damn good actor. Yeah, you would not have realized it, but that I think that actually played into the role too because oh, again yeah. because he didn't he, know what he was saying, he was able to put on that charade of mystery. I mean he he's <laughs> supposed to be something like um like a sort of literally a count or a sort of like the Lord of like something that you would find in a bygone era because he's like something from the past that should not should no longer be, even though it, he's prestigious too. But it really does make him seem like he is primarily a guy from somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Children of the night. Children of the night. Oh no! Ah, it's the next okay. one. I had to go for the gingerbread one. Eagle. Honestly, though. Even though I'm curious about Death seeing it, way. I, I Sorry. don't know. If, I do not know if I could handle the original Frankenstein movie. Oh, really? with I, uh, Boris Karloff. The, yeah, because I read the book. Oh, I love the book. The book yeah. is the book is different than the movie. <laughs> is it really that much? Because doesn't the monster also kill a child in the movie too? No. Well, like in the movie, it was an accidental death. Well, it's yeah, a, and I know in the book it was the same, but yeah. it still hurts to watch. I can't stand that about yeah, movies killing people. I mean, I can understand know? that. I hate... Like, when it comes to me and child deaths in movies, I hate it unless they actually have... So, if uh, Unless it adds some sort of weight um, in the film itself. If it's just there for shock value, I absolutely despise it. What about yeah, it? it? With it, it at least has sort of... Um, a um, at least there's some sort of establishment to it, like with like uh, the a character. narrative with it. Yeah, with Georgie, and not to mention you get to know yeah. Georgie a little bit, which makes his death afterwards a lot more tragic. That's a cool bounce. Well, at least I that's am... how I see it. Yeah, they managed to do like it did. I would have hated it if it was done very sloppily. 
because I'm and, kind of on the same field with you about that. That's why I also hated Hunger Games. Everybody keeps and, arguing that it's supposed to be a commentary on, like, bless you, bless and everything you. like that, but it just did not click with me. I felt so yeah. disgusted when I saw the kids having to kill each other. I didn't even yeah. bother Yeah, you're supposed kids. to feel disgusted about that. That's kind of the point of why they're trying yeah. to stop it. <laughs> that doesn't make the movie yeah. enjoyable. That, I mean, he's got a point. Um, another <laughs> example that comes to mind is, and th I'm kind of going to spoiler territory with this one, it's the movie Mother, which was directed by, of all people, Darren Afronofsky. Well, who also hold on, did... hold on. Make sure people are okay with the spoilers before I mean, you go spoil it. <laughs> Alright, all right. oh, is anyone here fine uh, can with you drag in Dusk? Oh. I can see what the problem is. Um... Well, I actually can't go into detail about it, because I know Dusk is not, into, is not really into horror. If Dusk is coming in, we'll have to change the subject. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah so, which is fine. I mean, that's happening uh, anyway, because we're at the last slope. You guys are ready for this one. Uh, can, you guys, uh, can someone with the ability to drag her in? Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, that would be Bliss or Whee! Golden, because the mods can't settle. How do I'm... I drag her in? Just click on her oh name my god, button. that was amazing. <laughs> click on her name, <laughs> invite and to... Hold. God damn it, I didn't get in the hole. Yay! Hang on, hang oh, on. Just and literally drag. Pull. I get it. I got hey, it. Hey, Dusky. Yeah. Oh, you Adorable. You can just literally pick her up and drag her. Nice. Yeah. I don't know why the mods can't do that. I, I did don't do know that. why you're Dusky. No, you're in action. Um, isn't it like um, The mods used to is, be able to do it too, but now we can't. Wasn't there like some oh, weird event where for... I forget why, but like for whatever reason the mods got basically stripped of most of their abilities. I thought Solar made a comment on that. Oh. I don't know. Huh. Your power weird. isn't. I should ask. I will right. ask the border next time he is around because I was. I actually forgot what he said that day. But he mentioned something about that. 